Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion, where last time, we retrieved the blood of a god for Sean Bean. And today we're being sent to my favourite type of dungeon in all of Tamriel. That's right, the Ilayid Ruins, but apparently, this one's a bit special. Guarded by an elite undead king, guarding a great Welkin stone, so, uh, alright, let's see what we've got going on in here. So okay, here we are, road between Skingrad and Kavach, and I must have literally seen this ruin before, because uh, the road is right there, the ruin is right there, I'd already discovered this here camp. There's no way I've not seen this ruin in the past, just for whatever reason, I chose not to go inside it, but apparently, it's really bloody important, so okay. Let's see what we've got going on. Oh well, here's an unusual one. Skulls on spikes, shattered chests, etc. This looks to me like a goblin camp. In fact, oh, blimey, there's... There is literally a goblin right over there. So don't mind me, buddy. Just out of interest, how tough are... Okay, not that tough as it turns out. Marvellous. These are the bitter fish goblins. I love it. I was wondering why there was a fish here. Possibly these guys eat fish. Possibly they worship fish. I'm not 100% sure. Right, slap on scouted about. Let's see what we have got going on. And okay, entered Miss Garkand. Absolutely. We are dealing with a really, really big... Oh, hang on. I mean, we're dealing with a really large number of something, but... That movement was a bit on the... I think something might be fighting something in here. Oh yeah, definitely. We've got blood. Uh, we've got weapons. Uh, I've walked into... Well, I don't really know, to be honest. But I've walked into something bad, potentially. Okay, lads. Uh, who precisely are... Oh, blimey. Okay, these guys are pretty squishy, as it turns out. Right, we should be able to cut our way through this. But, I mean, quite frankly, I'm suspicious. Why are these guys are so... Oh... Okay, it's not just goblins. I suspect the goblins may have just been, uh, yes, booted out by the great undead king of something, something, something. Potentially, at least. Right, well, that's all quite manageable. If we're dealing with the undead, then yes, a fire will do the job just fine. Take you guys out. Harvest some soul if the opportunity shows up. So, uh, John, really should have gone and dropped off North Wind in your mansion, damn it. It's fine. If we run out of space, I've got Lydia with me. This should not be a problem. So, okay. Got to go take care of all sorts of undead. It's undead versus goblins. I'm walking right into the middle of a civil war. Oh yeah, new fights are just breaking out all over the shop. Though, do not forget, some goblins can be pretty elite. Like, we may have just seen some really bloody flimsy goblins so far. But, yeah, goblin chieftains and whatnot. They can be seriously bloody tough. Okay, just wait up top for, yes, everybody to be dead. Looks like the last survivor was a random skeleton who, uh, oh yeah. One skeleton champion just took out a berserker and a shaman. So, okay. Might indicate that, uh, yes, goblins, even at their highest tier, are not good to be beating even fairly decent undead. So, uh, no, 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 buddy. Oh dear. Oh, that was just sad for you, actually. So, okay, just keep on keeping on, and yes, if we can just allow our fights to break out between the various inhabitants, and uh, that to me looks like a goblin, that to me looks like a skeleton, stay back. They are going to run into each other, and uh, that's a Vala stone cage, so just wait, no, 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 not me. Why would you be fighting me? There's blatantly a goblin. There we go, and they've both called in friends, uh, and things are going to start escalating nice and fast. Beautiful. So, okay. Just let them take out each other. Stay out of the way as far as we can. And now with... And that's one goblin dead, I assume. And just get behind you. And yes, we think the skeletons have probably got the advantage. So, in which case, yeah. Just help out the goblins by just taking out one or two skeletons. In fact, you know what? Best option is just to start running around in a circle, getting everybody's attention, and just bring them right into the middle. Beautiful. So, 
Hang on, is that a zombie attacking? Oh, the shaman must have summoned a zombie to attack the skeleton. Okay, so now it's two on two. Now, honestly, I would normally be willing to bet on, uh, yeah, the shaman. Shaman are really bloody strong, but, oh, hang on. No, never mind. The skeletons just tear them apart. I do not know how that happens because uh, skeletons do not seem that tough to me. But yeah, the goblin shamans, uh, they can be vicious bastards. And there she is. That switch must have been for the Vala cage. So, okay. I am now carrying three Vala stones. That there, that's just marvellous. Oh, and blimey, the situation keeps getting bigger and bigger. So, hang about. We got goblins. More flipping goblins down over there. But, they're running around. They're panicked. That's skeletons. Yeah, I'd say the best thing we could do is probably... Bring all these guys together. So, uh, hello over there. Yes, I am a hero that needs stopping. And you too. Right, everybody on me. And oh my goodness, goblins as well. Now, how about, yes, everybody just runs over in this direction. Be flipping beautiful. And as for me, I'm just happy to, uh, yeah, disappear back up to the rooftops. And watch while eating my popcorn. Lovely. Okay, enemies seem to have mostly killed each other. Last remnants mopped up. Okay, you know what? There is nothing I enjoy more in this world than a dungeon where basically the enemies are just murdering each other and you get to sit back and enjoy watching it happen. Then you just sweep in at the end and murder the extremely weakened survivors. That's just a good time, damn it. And bloody hell, I think I may have located, uh, yes, what we're supposed to be looking for here. Because there is something very big and very glowy on display just as I enter Area 3. So, uh, alright. Somewhere around here is, like, the Ancient King something or another. Uh, and he's supposed to be really bloody nasty. So, uh, eyes open. Pay attention. We can just, yeah, take out a few uh, bits and pieces. Uh, basic zombies should not be a huge uh, problem. Oh, I love it. So, okay, no chances here. Repair bloody everything up to max condition. Weapon charges are fine. All right, buddy. What have you got for me? Because something is about to come and murder me. And it's going to be something really bloody nasty. Which might be immune to poison, paralysis, all sorts. Oh, no way is it this easy. Then again, you know what, John? John, 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 John. The doors are probably about to slam shut. So here's what we're going to do. Before I actually pick up the Great Welkin Stone, I'm putting on my jumping boots. And I'm putting a ludicrous sprint in place. So go. And now grab. Okay. Bring it to Martin. Go, 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 go. Oh, bloody hell, I figured something nasty might be. Never mind, that was straight at the king. The king was, in fact... Okay, well, you know what? I could just, you know, crack this open right now. Then just shut that behind me. And now we could just make an exit. Okay. I'm pretty sure the great king is, um, yes, just behind me at this point. So... Oh, bloody hell, he took out like half my health bar in no time whatsoever. Okay, I want to take him on because he might be holding something really good. Like, you know, the crown of being an amazing badass or something. But we're doing it on my terms. Here we go. Something's coming around the corner. It may or may not be, you know, King. I can't remember what his name was supposed to be. And okay, you're presumably going to be doing bad ice stuff. Generally, you do bad ice stuff. No. He's doing lightning stuff. Brilliant. My Storm Atronaki is literally resistant to that. If your staff is a lightning staff, then... Okay, he can hurt me, but he can't hurt my summon. Brilliant. So my summon can just slowly over time beat him down. Oh, this is beautiful. There is nothing you can do to me, you stupid bastard. Because by the time you've beaten this guy down, I'm ready to summon another. Beautiful. So, okay. Who are you precisely? Oh, he's already almost dead. Get in there. Uh-oh. John, I think he had a lot of reflect damage on him right there. Because you just took a ridiculous, dumb amount of damage at the end. So, okay, that was... Uh, yes, that was indeed the king. He did indeed have uh, the greatest staff of storms. Uh, brilliant. Any chance he had? Uh, he had a key on him. Okay, it was just the escape. And the staff is... Uh, 
I mean, it's fine, but we could do without it, I think. I'm guessing uh, the rest of you are just like, you know, his uh, undead servant or something. In which case, I'm very happy to just let you guys be. No trouble with you whatsoever. Here we go, just sneak straight round the back, and I'm guessing this is going to be... Oh yeah, straight back to where we started. Magnificent. So, right, nice and easy, in out, got the Great Welkin Stone. With all due respect, sire, there must be another way. The risk is too great. I know the risk. I was at Kavach. But there is no other way. We have no choice. The Countess will never agree to it. She will. She must. Very well. The blades are, as always, at your disposal. Ah, here you are. I have good news. Of a sort. Yes. Let's see what she thinks of your plan. Oh dear. I get the feeling Sean Bean's about to suggest a ludicrously insane plan and... Uh, I'm going to be honest, Joffrey. I am probably going to be 100% on board with it. I never thought to see a great Welkin stone. As beautiful as all the old tales tell. But of course its beauty is a mask for its deadly power. Like everything crafted by the Aeliads. Now, we need only one more item. And we'll be ready to open a portal to Manka Cameron Drown. Okay, so I'm guessing this thing is actually, you know, an item of great evil, something, 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 but... Alright, Sean, what's the last item? Because it feels like we are rapidly approaching the end here. I should have seen it sooner. It's the counterpart to the Great Welkin Stone, just as the first two were the opposed powers of the Daedra and the Divines. Welkin Stones contain the concentrated power of Mundus. Their counterparts are Sigil Stones, which are used to hold open Oblivion Gates. A great sigil stone, then, is what we require. Okay, so nip into Oblivion and grab a stone, but the stones I've been grabbing for, yeah, quite some time are transcendent. That's the highest tier I've seen to date anyway. You're not going to like it. Joffrey doesn't like it. The Countess of Bruma certainly isn't going to like it. Great sigil stones are the anchors of great gates. The kind of gate the mythic dawn opened at Kavach. The kind of gate the mythic dawn wants to open here to destroy Bruma. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, I didn't actually realize that there was anything special about the gate at uh, Kavach, but apparently there was, uh, and apparently you want to, yes, let what happened to Kavach happen here as well. So, uh, I mean, I was thinking Bruma was a good candidate to get, you know, demon nuked at some point. So, uh, I'm guessing this is the moment. Evacuate the city and sacrifice the whole thing, if maybe it lets us win the entire war with a single stroke. The risk is great, I know. I was at Kavach. I saw the terrible power of the Daedric siege engine. But we have no choice. The only way to recover the Amulet of Kings is to allow the Mythic Dawn to proceed with their plan to attack Bruma. Okay, so deliberately let them attack the city, and then basically let them get on with it while I'm a- Oh. That's what the allies for Bruma are for. While I'm sneaking into the gate to get the Great Sigil Stone, the demons are going to be attacking Bruma. But because I've acquired a giant army to defend Bruma, maybe it gets to survive. Okay, I'm suddenly feeling a bit better about Bruma. I'll lead the defense of Bruma myself. If I am to be Emperor, it's time I started acting like one. And okay, Martin, I know this is a bit of an awkward question, but Tama, when you say you want to be on the front lines, are you actually unkillable or not? Because sometimes people are unkillable, and those people, I agree, they should definitely be put on the front lines. But those people that aren't should probably stay near the back, damn it. Remember when we first met in Kavach? I told you that I didn't want any part of the God's plan. I still don't know if there is a divine plan, but I've come to realize that it doesn't matter. What matters is that we act, that we do what's right when confronted with evil. That's what you did at Kavach. It wasn't the gods that saved us, it was you. Were you acting for the gods? I don't know, but now it's my turn to act. 
And on top of that, you are wearing some really bloody fancy armor. I mean, if I had armor that fancy, I'd want to show it off too. Please, my friend. I need your judgment, not your obedience. I explain myself to you so you understand me, and so you can explain to the Countess. I'm afraid she may take a bit more convincing than you. Okay, so I go to the Countess, but I have done a lot of good work around Bruma. When I say a lot of good work... She did ask me to go to, yes, Pale Pass, to acquire an ancient artifact, which I did, then immediately stole from her, so she might have suspicions about that, and I have murdered, like... I think at this point, four or five locals, so... Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not popular in Bruma. Have her meet me in the Chapel of Talos for a council of war. That seems a fitting place to make such desperate plans. Okay, defense of Bruma begins. Uh, let's go get the Countess on board. Although, yes, if the option is available, 100% I am recommending that we evacuate the city. Because uh, there's basically no reason not to. This is a really risky plan. Greetings. What news from Cloud Ruler Temple? Oh, she bloody saw me coming and... Uh, okay, how much do you like Tell me? me okay, she loves me. Brilliant. She is 100% on board. Uh, so, um... How do you feel about us deliberately allowing the same thing that blew up Kavach to come and blow you up? A desperate plan indeed. This... Prince? Emperor? Martin would risk my whole city to gain a great sigil stone? And apparently so, yes, and... We must recover the amulet. Oh, yes, sorry, that's why we're doing this, because uh, the amulet was stolen by what's-his-face, Cameron, who took it into wherever he went, so, right, yes, we need the amulet back, I'd forgotten about the amulet, yes. This is the only way to stop this invasion from oblivion? I must confess, you are the first person to speak of victory against these Daedra. This war has seemed hopeless to me. But what else was there to do but hold on and wait for a hero to arise to save us? And now it seems there is an heir to the throne after all, hidden at Cloud Ruler Temple. And perhaps a hero as well? And yes indeed. Apparently he'd like a chat with ya. You avoid answering my question. Very well. Don't think I doubt you. The rulers of Bruma have long had dealings with Cloud Ruler Temple. We know whom they serve. I will meet Martin at the chapel. When all is ready, I will order my men to stop closing the gates and prepare for battle. Okay, I didn't consider that as a possibility. That, uh, yes, Bruma, of course, knows full well about the blades in the temple and whatnot. She knew this day might come. Your Highness, I am Narina Carvain, Countess of Bruma, at your service. There is no need for any formality at this time. I am not Emperor yet, and I am quite new to this notion of being heir to the throne. Thank you for coming. I know I am asking for a great deal of trust, but this is the only way. I would not suggest it otherwise. Your champion has already explained the situation to me. I have agreed to it. We will not win this war through caution. You have a rare gift to know when desperation is the path of wisdom. I will do everything in my power to defend your city, my lady. If Bruma falls, the Empire falls with us. So be it. Alright, she seems a very on board, I approve. I'm ready for battle when you are, champion. What say you? Ooh, this feels like yes, the um, final chance to say yes or no. This might be As it. When you're ready for battle, the Countess will order her men to stop closing the gates outside the city. All right, this is, yeah, this is the game basically saying, uh, are you ready for what may be the beginning of the end? Like, we know this isn't the end of the end, because ultimately we need to, uh, yes, follow Cameron to uh, wherever he went to get the amulet back to do that ritual. But this might be, yeah, the point where basically I am uh, locking myself into doing the end game. So, uh, okay, 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 okay. If this is it, yeah, well, the friend. final dramatic showdown between me and the Daedra, then I need to put together a team. The greatest team of incredibly incompetent, almost certainly going to die knockoff Avengers that Tamriel has ever seen. 
Iron Armor Man. Lead the way, Sir Knight. Captain Abracadabra. I am at your command, Archmage. Dark Widow. Yes, most revered listener. And of course, most importantly of all, the incredible fan. Golly, you're the best. And for added fun, place bets now whether any of these individuals is going to survive this nonsense. Because, okay, excluding the adoring fan, he doesn't count because he knows the secret to immortality. So, okay, Countess, I have got my own personal army. I have got every ally for Bruma that could possibly exist, with the exception, I'll admit, of, yes, the Imperial Legion. But sounds like we can't get them on board. They're a bit busy elsewhere. Let's do this. So be it. Bruma's fate is in the hands of the gods now. And yours. Bird, deploy the troops for battle. As you command, Countess. Okay, everybody's moving out, though. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, my personal army may be slightly getting in Sean Bean's way. Please, everybody step away from the Emperor. Let the Emperor get to the battlefields. Martin! 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 Martin Septim! Huzzah for the Emperor! I do enjoy how, yes, every member of Bruma who survived my various rampages has come to cheer on Martin. That's just lovely. So, okay. I'm guessing, given that, yes, apparently the Bruma guards have been this entire time stopping gates from opening, and now we've stopped doing that, the situation outside might be looking a bit grim. Oh, bloody hell, is this the entire army? Is this everything we gathered from, like, seven other cities? Oh, bloody hell, this is pathetically tiny. Oh, bloody dear. And everyone is... Oh! Okay, everyone started running. Does anyone know where we're running? Or why we're running there? Or why we're going two separate routes? There is a road here, guys. Okay, we're just going two separate routes. And... Uh, okay, I see one... One gate. And... Oh, hang on. Is that a great gate? It does seem rather tall next to some of them. I'm not sure whether this is a great gate or not, to be honest. Okay, no. This is a one Oblivion Gate. We need to let three open. Then they'll open the Great Gate. Then as soon as that's open, I go in and sort out the situation in there. And once we're in, that should be pretty manageable, I say this. I mean, I've got pretty good at speedrunning Oblivion Realms, but this is going to be a special Oblivion Realm, so it might be, yes, a bit less speedrunnable than the standard ones I've been encountering. So, okay. We've just got to let them open gates and just survive as well as we can. So, all right. Everybody line up. Martin has arrived on the battlefield. Uh, protect Martin. Uh-oh. Oh, he's bloody killable. Oh, bloody hell, we're in trouble. Soldiers of Cyrodiil, the Empire will stand or fall by what we do here today. Will we let the Daedra do to Bruma what they did to Kavach? Will we let them burn our homes? We will let them kill our families? No, we make our stand here today for the whole of Cyrodiil. We must hold fast until the hero of Kavach can destroy their great gate. We must kill whatever comes out of that gate. Soldiers of Cyrodiil, do you stand with me? Oh. Okay, I think we're ready to go already, actually. Okay, draw some attention. Keep the biggest, toughest ones away from Martin. It looks to me like, yes, they want to attack me by default. Good, 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 good. Take you out. The army's done well right there. Wave one and goes down without too much trouble. But more waves are coming in fast. No, 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 no. Do not let them in. Okay, just get over here. I'll take out one spider. I think these guys might be a tiny, tiny bit weaker. Second Oblivion Gate's open. Okay, uh-oh. More waves are coming in. And also, uh, you might be slightly elite there. Are these ones tougher? Because I swear you're taking more hits to take out than the first spider we fought. Also, guys, uh, please get involved. Okay, it's very important. Everybody also, it's very important. I should, um, uh, yes, be gathering souls. I can't do it off you, though. You don't have a soul to gather. Here we go. Spider. Spider will be a good candidate. Just take you out. Okay, spider turns and faces at me. Get over to here. You're healing a little bit. And now I think I've been slowed or something. Go over to life and soul. Don't mind 
Me. There we go. Back over to... Excuse me. Ow. Oh, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit surrounded right now. Someone please help. Please help and also take her out before she kills me. There we go. Got the soul. We needed that. Is somebody guarding Martin, by the way? I've kind of been taking my eye off uh, the whole Martin situation. Martin? Okay, Martin's fine. He's probably got plenty of bloody health, actually. So, okay. Focus on you. Just keep you guys out of the way for the time being. Oh, blimey. Okay, there's a big one. There is a big one. You're over there. Another one goes down. You're coming for... Someone's attacking me. Hang on. We got... Oh, we've got three gates. We've got three gates open. This is... This is just a lovely, tiny scrap we've got here. And also, John. John, John, John. That's not your summon. That's a different Storm Atronach. So, okay. You need to go down. I need more soul. This might be a good time for Vala Stone, to be honest, actually. Yes, this might be a very good uh, Vala Stone moment. That big lad is determined uh, to go for me. But the Great Gate is open. Okay, get the Great Sigil Stone before the Bruma Defenders are overwhelmed. So, uh, okay, Manta. Oh, blimey, hack. Okay, I will give you... That is a bigger gate. Right, that is bigger. Okay, ignore these guys. Get the flip in. Sort it out. Speed run this. Get the Great Sigil Stone. It's all going to be bloody hell. Oh, the last survivor was, in fact, yes, Dark Widow. She's the only survivor, I assume, given everyone else is um, dead or run away. Probably the adoring fan just bloody scarpered. So, there is now a Daedric Siege Engine crawling towards the portal. If it exits the gate before I reach the Sigil Stone, all is lost. So, okay, that does sound bad and also... There was the implication one of these showed up at, um, yes, Kavach, but the gate at Kavach was definitely nowhere near this big. So, how did that siege engine get there? I have no idea, but apparently it's me and you, Dark Widow. Right, heal up here. Just heal up. Also, I have leveled up and- Oh! No! The Major Princess, guys! Get out of the way! I think possibly the, um, the siege engine is, yes, spitting fire at us, so- Okay, never mind. Captain Abracadabra and Dark Widow are both alive. Lovely. So, okay, just head in. There is so much lava in this direction. Okay, just get some stuff out here. And, okay. We definitely need... You've picked up a tiny helmet from somewhere. That's adorable. Good job, Captain Abracadabra. Okay, it's time for a flipping Vala Stone. Right, that's got the sword back where it should be. I mean, to be honest, I could just let these guys... Let these guys do their thing. Okay, John, it's time to use your greatest and most powerful abilities. Okay, screw the lava, screw all that nonsense. It's time to use the jump. Turn on a ludicrous boing, put on your special jumping shoes, and we should be a okay. It's just going to be into here now. J jump. There we go. Straight over the top. Straight over the top again. Okay, we are just looping around the outside of the Great Siege Engine. And, oh, that thing's cool. Oh, that's lovely. I kind of just want to let it go through into the real world. Because that thing is gorgeous. It's got little legs and everything. Oh, I love it. It's my new best friend. Oh, my goodness. It's got, like, segmented bits. So, it's, like, going forward step by step. Oh, I love it. It's so cool. Right, okay. Hang on, John. John, John, John. Do we know where we're actually going here? Am I supposed to be attacking? Wait, hang about. Where's the tower I'm supposed to be going? Okay, by the look of the map here, right, we shouldn't be down on the ground at all. We should be working our way up. So there is apparently a gate right here. The World Breaker Guard. This will be the World Breaker then, though, to be honest, there might be another one right here to the right of me. So, okay. Hang about, hang about, hang about. Is there a way to access this tower from down below? Possibly, possibly. Oh, I'm feeling like not, actually. Okay, just kind of in the lava now. Kind of in the lava. So, okay, this is... Oh! Captain Abracadabra is definitely dead. Dark Widow is the last... Oh, bloody hell. Oh, Fedred, I'm so sorry. Right, okay. There's a door over here somewhere. There's the adoring fan. Well done. Oh, but then again, hang on, John. There's a giant tower that's... Okay, hang on, I think I was actually onto the right approach here. There's a giant tower right at the end. 
Okay, screw everything. Just make a run for that giant tower. Okay, Dark Widow and the Adoring Fan and everyone else, they can take care of themselves, okay? Just make a run straight past this thing and try and make it to the end. Alright, my jumping abilities uh, will allow me to do this. So, okay, possibly my jumping abilities will not allow me to do this. This is... Oh, this feels... Oh, this definitely feels like I shouldn't... No, this this was a mistake. That's, that's a waterfall of fire, actually. No, no, no. Look here. We've got ourselves what looks like the ability to... If I can just get a good angle... Yeah, I can skip the first tower. Just, I just need to get up to... Come on. Come on, game. I believe in you. I believe in my acrobatics abilities here. We can do this. Just get up to the top. Come on. We can do it. There we go. We've made it up. Okay, we've skipped tower number one. So just uh, keep on with maximum boing points. And uh, okay, we've made it. Or at least we've kind of made it. Just hop over the top here. Just, just vaguely Bethesda your way through. There are definitely guardians to this tower. Screw you. Don't care. Straight in. Uh-oh. Did that just say 10 minutes until... Yes! 10 minutes to close the gate. I'm on an actual real timer here. This is... Oh, I kind of just assumed that, you know, that was just for dramatic effect. No, this is a real timer. Okay, I'm down to 10 minutes to save the world. Um, Activate ludicrous speed and let's flip it go. So, okay. Weapons. No, I already have my weapon out. That's fine. Vault of the end times. Okay, it's extra dramatic. There's the adoring fan. The adoring fan is going to help me save the world. Bless him. And uh oh, oh no. Okay, there were there were many things that just fell on me. That was guillotines. Uh, okay, Citadel door. I'm going to be needing John. It's time to break out the big sandwiches. Okay, break out all the big sandwiches. Uh, potion of health. A uh, lovely. Don't mind me, buddy. Keep on keeping on. Watch out for. Guillotines. Guillotines could be dangerous, apparently. Just keep on moving up. That's the world breaker. Is anyone still with me? The adoring fan might still be with me. Who bloody knows if he's alive or not? So, okay, just... Okay, keep on keeping on. Keep on moving upwards. Uh, keep on healing. I've got some really, really good healing going on right now. I should be able to effectively tank yet yeah, just about everything. Here we go. Right up to the top and... Uh, Bloody hell, they've actually learned how locks work. But um, unfortunately, I'm very good at locks. So, okay, straight in. If it's anything like the usual Sigillum Sanctums, uh, this should be it. Okay, nine minutes. But as it turns out, no, I have got good bloody practice speedrunning these gates. Straight over here, do the looting while we're passing by. Gauntlets of Life Sight. And that is, oh, that's nowhere near as good as my ring. I will, however, take, um, yes, two petty soul gems uh, and a lovely, lovely ruby. Because why not? And security does not seem to have realized I've arrived yet. So, okay, help myself to, ooh, nice emeralds as well. Right, I should probably save the world at this point And kind of hope that Martin's not dead. Because otherwise we're kind of boned anyway. So, uh, is this it? That's it. Great sigil stone. Boom. As it turns out, me speedrunning Oblivion was the thing that saved everyone. The universe has been saved because I'm very experienced at speedrunning Oblivion gates. I flipping love it. Please tell me Martin's okay. And... I think I'm under a siege crawler. And for some reason, Dark Widow just decided to take all her clothes off. The sigil stone has been retrieved. The gate has been closed. It doesn't look it, but I'm guessing it's about to. The Battle of Bruma has been won. How's Bruma doing, by the way? Because ultimately, we kind of won the Battle of Kavach too. But Kavach was not looking good at the end of it. And there we go. The siege tower collapses. The gates all collapse. You're naked. Seriously, why are you naked? And how are you the only survivor? There is, yeah. There's Captain Abracadabra, the incredible fan, and Iron Armor Man, all tragically dead. And everyone's cheering despite the giant pile of corpses. Oh, bless Oblivion. This was actually an extremely small-scale skirmish. It was basically just a brawl. But we won. Though a lot of people died. Hang on. Who survived? So you're from... Leowen. Then someone from... Oh, someone from Kavach. Okay, that's nice. That a Kavach soldier actually survived. That's beautiful. Anvil. Love Anvil. And oh no, Joffrey. Oh, Joffrey. I liked Joffrey. Oh, Sean Bean's going to be really sad about that. We won a great victory here today. 
We now have the means to recover the Amulet of Kings from Manka Cameron. But we need to act quickly. Cameron will not take long to recognize his danger. Remember, the portal closes behind you. Anything you need, carry it with you. I'll have the ritual ready in the Great Hall when you arrive. Farewell. Okay, so uh, that's phase one of the ultimate showdown complete, but it sounds like, yes, Sean Bean wants me straight on to the next phase. And this one, this is presumably the real end. Get the amulet back and uh, we've won. We just take Sean Bean to, uh, yes, what is it? The Temple of One in the Imperial City. He does the ritual. Oblivion gates are closed. Veil between realities reinforced. We win. So... Okay, this might be the actual real bloody end. Also, I'm so sorry about Joffrey. I know you really like that guy. I will also say, Bruma is looking really bloody good. So, okay, it would appear the city was not under attack at all. Because, well, possibly I put together a big enough army that the city survived with no damage whatsoever. Though, um, okay, this is rather hilarious. We saw a second ago, yes, the game lined up everyone in Bruma to cheer on Martin. And, um, I think possibly I've realized an unintended thing occurred during that moment. Because the corpse of Lyra Rosentia is just sitting here in the middle of the city. And Lyra Rosentia, you may recall, I murdered myself some weeks ago as part of, yes, Hermaeus Mora's mission. She was just, yeah, the first Imperial I came across. So uh, as a result of that, I think she was supposed to be standing there to cheer on Martin. And despite the fact she was dead, the game just put her there anyway, where she just flopped on the floor, possibly cheering for Martin regardless. Marvellous. Also, congratulations on surviving, but um, you could probably go now. And also, please put some clothes on. This is really weird. And with the end of the Oblivion Crisis inside to right here in the Great Hall of Cloud Ruler Temple, what better place could there be for this level up? And there we go. One a quick nap and not a bad level up, to be honest. So, yeah. Giant pile of extra carry capacity there. Willpower definitely moving in a very good direction. Was kind of hoping for, yeah, three to endurance, but still. We are looking very, very good in terms of attributes right now. And uh, there we go as well. Level 30. Lovely. So here we go. It has been a long time coming, but this is the character I've put together to finally end the Oblivion Crisis. And uh, as soon as that's done, we are straight on to the final challenge. A mysterious door in the Nibbon Bay that leads to the Shivering Isle. So, all sorts of exciting stuff coming up over the next couple of parts. Hopefully, you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, wait, and flamethrower! 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 Okay, so this is... This is definitely morally questionable. The point where you start singing the flamethrower song, potentially you've gone over the line.